Hello everybody, and we are back with week two of our North Dakota NCAA 13 Dynasty. And we come into Hawaii expecting some great weather, and no. No. It's raining. It's pouring rain. And uh, it's not going to be a pleasant day here in Hawaii. We are hoping for some good weather, but no. Not at all. So it's our first conference game of the season at Hawaii. And uh, they had a pretty rough first week. They were shut out when they played uh, USC. Um, so if you saw the stats at the start of the video, you might think they're a pretty bad team. But USC in this game anyway is actually pretty pretty good. So... You know, we, we can't really base their performance off that. But here we go. Our offense didn't get off to a great start, but our defense, not too bad. Third and 14 now. We got to hold them here. They're looking long, and he does make the catch, but it's out of bounds. He did not get a foot in, so they would punt it away. So our defense holds surprisingly well on that first drive. And now Jake Miller gets a handoff, a nice little... Chunk of yards picked up there. Just give it off to Mitch Sutton on the draw play for a first down. And uh, not a shabby start for us, but we're trying to get some yards. And we find RJ McGill on an out route, but he drops it. That is going to be a recurring theme for both teams throughout this game. The ball is wet and not very easy to catch, but their star receiver, Billy Ray Stutzman, he's a really talented player. And here, Joey Iosefa if that's how you say his name, makes about five guys miss before he goes down. <laughs> and uh, there another drop ball. And uh, they would in fact punt it away from there, but we would do nothing on the next drive, so they would get the ball right back and still 0-0 zero, zero game. And Ostrowski comes up with a nice little comeback route catch there. So third and seven now. It's the second quarter. Pretty fast first quarter, and Stutzman drops it more wet ball issues just nobody can get a good grip on it and it's just not working out too well we work a little play action in Hendrickson finds the tight end Seth Wistoff for a first down he's been the most reliable target so far in these first two games but on the next play we try to fake him out with a full back hand off a pitch to the halfback and it fails miserably and well on third down just poor decision making leads to another punt so now they would have the ball trying to be the first team to get on the board here third and five the Hawaii Warriors looking now to pass but it's Jay Nelson who comes up with the sack and oh man just what we needed on third down a sack from Jay Nelson and that would end their drive pretty quickly so they would in fact of course punt it away and Greg Harden is going to, whoa, lose sight of the ball. And I think maybe it's some more slippery ball issues. He muffs it, but thankfully comes up with the ball himself. So now third and three. And uh, the boys in white and green finally get a first down here. A nice one. RJ McGill makes up for his drop earlier. In fact, he's had a couple drops up to this point. But then, again, we get a first down and then we lose yards. It seems to be a common theme here. And we're looking, it looked like a good pass, it looked like it was going to be a good catch, but instead it's picked off, and he's going to take it the distance, nobody can catch him. And uh, that's JT Turner right there, making the pick six and first score for Hawaii. And uh, we would go three and out on the next drive, and then they're going to start going down the field here in the last minute before halftime, trying to get in another score. And a touchdown saving tackle there as Bright makes a great grab. And our defense, after a good start, we're starting to get shredded. Stutzman makes the catch on the sideline to stop the clock. And try a little jet sweep, but our defense picks up on it. Finally gets a good stop on this drive. So it's third and goal. They run a no huddle. And they would find their open halfback on that play, Joey Iosefa, for the touchdown. And so, two seconds left. We're just going to chuck a bomb and see what happens. And Hendrickson, he has three receivers against one defender here. What in the world? And nobody can come down with it. So it would be 14 nothing. Hawaii leading at halftime. And uh, could be worse. That's all I'm going to say right there. But 
we got to come into the second half stronger. Second and four, we're going to open up this next series of plays for Hawaii. Schrader finds Stutzman. What a grab. He kind of got destroyed in the back there as he made the catch. But there, Sean Schrader now over 100 yards at this point in the game. They're going to run a little play action, but Damon Andrews makes a big leaping interception, and he was the guy that got burned big time in the last game against Minnesota. So he kind of makes up for it with that leaping interception. So Jake Miller on second down now trying to get something going and only a four-yard gain. We'll take it, but we'd like more yards. So third and six. It's Greg Harden, but he would be stopped a yard short, and it's a long yard. And we're going to go for it. You know, it's about a little over midway through the third quarter, but we got to get something going. And Seth Wisthoff not able to come down with it. Not a very good throw, but he did have a chance to catch it. So we do give them good field position. And uh, Joey Iosefa does make the first down effort here to give them another set of downs. So second and five now running a little motion with the tight end. And Trader's going to give it off to Iosefa, who's going to get the first down and a little bit more. Setting up at the 25-yard line. What are we going to do? What is our defense going to do to stop this? We need another turnover. And uh, it just doesn't seem like it's in the cards because here Gregory's going to take it all the way. And uh, just some poor angles taken by the defense. And we're just kind of slower, a couple steps slower than this Hawaii team. Now Hendrickson looks to find a spinning Mitch Sutton <laughs> over the middle for a seven-yard gain. So third and two, we're going to run a little heavy package formation here, or heavy shotgun formation here. Uh, and we're going to give it off to Greg Harden on the sweep and a nice little chunk of yards there. Well, not really chunk, it's just about five yards, but... First down is a first down. We'll take it. Hendrickson back to pass. He looks like he has R.J. McGill over the top and a great play by the defender. A very heads-up play there. So we're now kind of encroaching on their territory here around the 30-yard line in third and three. But Hendrickson is sacked. And that would kill the drive. So another failed opportunity. We're down 21 points. And things are just not looking good as Stutzman makes another big grab for about 12 yards. But they would kind of shoot themselves in the foot here on this drive. Third and 14. And Schrader's going to find his man Davis. Running a little corner route to the outside there. So second and nine years. We're in, now in the midst of the fourth quarter. And they are just going to town on our defense. Our poor defense. And, uh, you know, I also have another touchdown for him. Can't put this all on the defense. The offense has to help him out somehow, and we're just not getting it done. We'll just bring in Hanson, our backup quarterback here, just uh, see what he can do late in this game, see if he can bring a spark to this offense. Hanson, uh, not a very good throw, and story of the game right there. Just inconsistent and poor offense, and... Iosefa, he's going to shake off some tacklers and he's going to take it the distance. And that's just pretty much salt in the wound right there. Hawaii took it to us. And uh, not a lot going on. Another dropped pass. Just. And then we had a holding penalty for first and 20, so it's just getting worse and worse. McGill, five drops on the day. He. Poor guy had a bad game, probably in part due to the weather, and I don't know what that was. Hansen really, we took him out after that. That was a terrible throw, so, uh, and poor decision, but at this point, it's it's not really consequential. So, there you can see 159 yards, two touchdowns, and a receiving touchdown for Joey Iosefa, the player of the game. Another game where uh, stats look very similar to the last game. Very similar, and uh, just wasn't meant to be. Um, obviously, you know, we're not quite at the level of these teams just yet, but that's the point. We're going to get there. We're going to try to get on their level. It's going to be a struggle, and I understand that, and I hope you guys, you know, just bear with me. This first season or two may be a little rough, 
But uh, that's going to be the fun of it. We're going to see, can we get some momentum going? We're on the road. We have one more road game. It's going to be at Air Force. And then we'll finally get our first home game of the season. So maybe we can get something going behind the home crowd when we get finally some home games as we hit the later part of the season. But uh, right now we've got some tough teams, although got to look out for Air Force. I mean, uh, we might have a chance. If our defense can stop the option, we, we might have a very good chance um, at really picking up that first win that we really won. Who knows? But here we go. NCAA, NCAA Players of the Week and the Conference Players of the Week. There you go. And we'll get a look at how the top 10 is doing. Um, early in the season, rankings aren't as big of a deal. But as you can see, Arkansas took down number 8 Georgia in overtime. Or Georgia was previously number 5. So, But uh, there you go. There you go. So that's going to be it for this week. I'll see you all in week 3 when we take on Air Force.